So I'm just an idiotic, stupid dog, but there's a lot of meat on the bone of this Carly Russell case. You know, the 24, I believe she's a 24-year-old African-American nursing student. She claimed on a late night 911 phone call, she had just passed a little three or four year old white toddler walking down the side of this big old multi lane highway, 70 mile an hour speed limit. Big old highway. There's a little kid just meandering along. It's in the middle of the night. She sees this, she reports it to the police. At some point, she screams, and uh, they find her cell phone and uh, her car door open and the car running, and uh, this woman's missing. So anyways, you almost knew right away it was a hoax, you know. It's so sad to say, but, you know, once she came walking back, you knew it was a hoax. You're like, oh, my goodness. These girls never come back. It's a horrible, freakish, terrible thing to have to say. But, I mean, very rarely do these girls come back. They usually aren't just kidnapped, kept someplace within, you know, a few couple miles, traveling around in the back of an 18-wheeler, but never really going no place. And then sooner or later, she can walk back home from wherever she was. Her abductors are localized abductors. They get the women in the back of 18-wheeler, and then they drive them around the block until they become nauseous. It's somehow they're turning, they're made, they, they make money off this. They've monetized this. I don't know. But, so anyways, it was a long stretch. You knew right away. They don't really come back. That's a horrifying thing that to say. But as soon as she came back, you had to think, oh, it must be a hoax. Well, anyway, the police admit now that they don't believe her. They don't believe she was ever abducted. I think this is all uh, somewhere in uh, Alabama. I'm pretty sure this is all happening in the state, the great state of Alabama. But what the police also shared that uh, uh, Mrs. Russell's phone, that she left there at the scene for the cops to find, she left recent Google searches of uh, how to take money from a register without being caught. One-way bus ticket from Birmingham to Nashville. She... uh, did some uh, Google searches on Amber Alert information. She searched for the movie Taken. This girl is really doing her homework. See what I'm saying? She's not just your run-of-the-mill, whatever you call it, when they make false police reports and make false claims so that they can somehow become famous and become a viral sensation and become, what do you say, a TikToker or a social influencer, a famous person. This was this is what her game was. This girl was going through nursing school, and she said, this is sucks. I'm never going to get anywhere. I want to get to the hundreds of thousands of dollars, the millions of dollars. i got to figure up a game plan. And instead of finishing off her nursing school and investing in stocks and taking risks and other entrepreneurs saving her money. She said, I'm going to do this phenomenal scam. It's going to be a hoax. I'm going to get my own reality TV show out of it. I'm going to become rich and famous that way. So she staged a hoax. Okay? But she left all the evidence, you know. She left all the... She just searches the stuff in the day or two before, you know. And this is, you know, this poor girl. I don't know if she's that smart. You got to research the movie Taken. I mean, this is what you're going to base the whole thing on? The movie Taken? (laughs) It's, you know, I don't know, whatever. That maybe, uh, uh, so far it's kept her out of trouble, just put it to you that way. Maybe she did her research good enough. Maybe it's going to turn out good for this girl. But anyways, the, the one guy, I think he was a cop, he said this investigation is not over. Uh... But, uh, you know, it's highly unusual, the cop says. It's highly unusual the day someone is kidnapped that they Google, they Google the movie Taken uh, about an abduction. He says, he added, I find it very strange. So anyways, there's a little bit of evidence mounting up against this poor girl. And uh, Carly's... Uh, you know, her whole deal, her whole spiel 
her whole thing where she was just going to try to become a famous viral sensation and make millions of dollars. I mean, you want to talk about saying I'm cutting corners. I'm trying to take the quick route. You know what I'm saying? I want the easy way, not the easy. I want the fast track, whatever you're saying. You know, I guess it's not that easy. But you got to give this girl a lot of, you know, chutzpah, high marks for chutzpah. Jeez, you know, just to concoct this plan and, to, you know, follow through. It's a crazy thing. It was a career choice, she said. She said, I'm fed up with nursing school. It's a bunch of bullshit. It looks to me like I'm just going to be plowing ahead aimlessly for the rest of my life, making maybe 50, 60, 70,000, living in a place I can't really afford, always behind, always struggling, never really achieving my goals or, you know, getting to that point in my life where I feel satisfied or that I accomplished what I'd set out to do. So I think I'm going to try to do a big, enormous police scam, do a false report and get a career as a viral sensation having survived an abduction. I'm going to get super famous and no matter what, you could be super famous for almost anything and then I'm going to build out my brand from there and I'm going to become a, you know, an influencer or a TikTok or somebody's making big money. You know what I'm saying? I want to make, I got to make the good stuff. I got to make the high dollar jack. I got to be, you know, rolling in the chips. See what I'm saying? I can't be just muddling along. I got to be, you know, you know, you see what I mean? And Kylie, I mean, I got to give her credit. It doesn't look like she's going to be successful. I'm an idiotic, stupid dog. My guess is they're probably going to try to make an example of this girl. I, I don't know. It, it seems uh, it was a risky, risky thing, but, you know, and, I, and it doesn't look like it's going to pan out, but hopefully this girl doesn't wind up going to jail. Hopefully this career choice she made doesn't wind her butt in jail. I really hope that for. Her. I mean, you got because I, 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 you know, I like that entrepreneurial spirit, that daredevil, go for broke, you know, damn the torpedoes, full speed ahead. Just do not look back. Do not self doubt. Just continue, follow through, follow the plan. So I, I give this girl high marks for that kind of stuff. But we'll see. Hopefully, we'll see.